Hi, welcome to Rapid University Training Series. In this mini tutorial, you will learn how to use certified course at Rapid University. Rapid University is a subdivision of Rapid Learning Center, which hosts all the Rapid Learning content leveraging Moodle Learning Management System. It allows educators like yourself to disseminating knowledge and information collaborating and interacting with students, and finally, assessing and tracking student progress. Learning Objectives. By completing this tutorial, you will learn how to log in, view my course, view and send messages among students and peers, perform administration like update and viewing profile, view grade, and finally, view my certificate. Okay, here we are at rapiduniversity.com. We highly recommend it that you use the Firefox browser in order to view the certified course at rapiduniversity.com. However, if you don't have it, any browser will do. You can use Internet Explorer, Safari, or any other internet browsing. What we want to recommend is that you want to ensure that whichever browser that you use, make sure that you allow the browser security to write in the cookies so that we can track your learning progress and uh, the grade. Let's log in. I'll be logging in as student role. Click log in. On the left-hand column, there's My Courses. Under My Courses is a list of all the courses that I'm enrolled in. And in the middle column, it also a list of My Courses, but more details that show a full description of the course. On the right-hand side, is My Certificates. This one will allow me to view any certificates that I have earned. It shows the date that I receive the course name, the link to the certificate, the grade I've earned, and the certificate code. These certificate code are unique and they can be authenticated, say an institution want to verify um, the certificate that you have earned. They can provide us the code and we can look it up and pull up the name that corresponding to the code that have earned and when we can actually show them what grade you actually earn in more detail. Let's go ahead and click on a certificate link. In this case, it will be immunology. I can have an option to either open or save. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And here would be example of what a certificate would look like for online access. If you need to have an official certificate, you can also request for an official certificate. Let's close it. Let's go back to home. The next section is messages. This section will allow you to see what messages other student or teacher are sending to you. If there's any message, it will show that message waiting or any message that you open, you can uh, view it. Now you can do also initiate the sending the message to your peers. You can either add, you can do a search of the contact you want to send a message to. This one I'm looking for Erica. I can add to I can add Erica to my contact list if I want to communicate with her more often, which is more accessible. Now to send message you can just click on her link and then you can just say hi. and click send. Okay, let's get back. You can also click on this icon to view any messages history. In this case, she hasn't responded yet, but if there's any, it would be a conversation here. The next section is uh, your message setting. You can do have an options of automatically pop up the message 
which is the default, and the very section that you can block a specific person or beep when the message arrives. Um, another option is uh, you can change the setting here under email me when I'm offline. That is, you can set how long before it send you the message. In other words, in this case, it says to send me an email to my personal email after five minutes offline. You can have an option of either sending in plain text or HTML and then click Save My Setting. Close the window. Below Messages, there's a section of the latest news that you can check out, upcoming events, and calendar. So let's go ahead and access my course. Click on the course link. In this case, I'm accessing the high school chemistry. While I'm in the course, on the left hand side, on the participants, this will be a list of all the participants in the course that I'm enrolled in. And these, the visibility of the participants only that belong to my group that have permissions to my classroom. Any other student that belong to a different group, you will not be able to view these participants. Back to the course. Below there, there's a menu called Administration. This will allow you to do administrative such as profile updating and grades. Let's just go profile. We highly recommend that you go to your profile to update with accurate information by clicking edit profile. You can update your email and other contact information, time zone, and whether or not you want to allow other to view your email. So you can also upload your picture by clicking browse, select the the picture that you want and description and click update. Let's go back to the course. Click on grade to allow you to view your grade that you earn. In this course, I'm looking at the grade that I earn for the certified high school chemistry. And it'll show by each activity for each tutorial and problem drill, it'll show any grade that I have earned. Notice that these grades are the grades of the highest score. I can see an overview report for each of the course or I can go into detail to use a review. This will allow me to see what are the grades for each of the core tutorial and problem drills that I have earned. Let's go back to the course. In the middle is an outline of the course content and course activity and resource that you have access to. At the very top will be the name of the course and a brief description. Below that is a certificate. And this link is a high school certificate. Here is a link to the certificate, the high school chemistry certificate. When you complete all 24 tutorial with 80% or more, come back and click here to obtain your certificate of completion. Below here is a list of all 24 tutorial. Each section, you can either notice on the right hand side, there's an icon here, it's a minus. This will allow you to collapse so that you can see one lesson at a time, which you do have an option to jump to whichever tutorial you want, but one lesson at a time. The other option is you want to collab all. That would allow you to see a long list of all 24 tutorial. In each one of the 24 tutorial, there will be two sections, the core tutorial activities and the supplementary resource. Under core tutorial activities, there are core tutorial, problem drill, and review cheat sheets. And under the resource, there will be mp3 audio lectures and printable. So let's go to core tutorial. Click on core tutorial. Of course, this will allow you to access the core. Notice the navigation on the upper right hand side. There's a link called exit activity. This link is vitally important that make sure when you are ready to exit, you click this link in order for the system to record where you add core tutorial in order to get a score you must complete and view every single slide before you exit the activity. Below here are the control. You can play it or you can see the previous slide 
or the next slide. You also, on the right hand side, you have an option to view the tutorial note. The last one is an icon that would allow you to view the course in full view, which hide the navigation. Click again to toggle back so that you can view the left hand navigation of the topic list. Also, you can view it in a thumb view. You can also do a perform a search. For example, uh, if I want to see a specific uh, slide that containing, um, let's just say, element, click a search. It will show me a list of slides that talks about the element. In this case, it will show me the element in the periodic table. Also, notice at the bottom, if I want to turn off the note, I can just put on, click on the X to hide the note. So when I'm done, I can just click on Exit Tutorial. The next component is the problem drill. The problem drill will be graded in a, in a score range of from 0 to 100%, depending how many you get correct and how many you get wrong. Notice here, if you previously have access to course, when you come back, you do have an option to select to start a new. Make sure you click on start a new attempt so that it will regrade. Click enter. Also make note there's an upper right hand side. There's an exit activity. Make sure when you're done with the test, make sure you click on exit activity in order for it to record the score. On the problem drill here, there's a brief instruction. When you're done reviewing it, click on next. This will allow you to go through the different questions. You get the feedback. I'm going to go ahead and try to get to the so that I can get to the end. Here I want to point to you the different at the very top left hand side showing the number of questions. On the upper right hand side is a list of points I've earned. At the bottom it will show the number of points I've earned out of the total I've completed so far. Just make sure when you select your choice, make sure you click on Submit and click on Next Question. Now, when you reach the last question, you have an option to view results. The result page will tell you what score you burn. In this case, I only get 20%. It requires an 80% consider passing. If I don't pass, I can review what I've done so far and then go back and retake the test. What we highly recommend is that you review the core tutorial lessons to make sure you understand before coming back to retake the test. At the bottom of the problem drill, you have an option to review, which go through the different choices that you made, which one is correct, which one's not. Also, you can click on print result, enter your name, and click OK. It will show a screen that will display their test result. The questions, the correct answer, what the student answer, and what is the result and how many endpoint awarded. Let's close this window. The last one is the Get Solution. Get Solution is a link to a PDF that shows the solutions to the questions. It start with a question, option available, list of answer with feedback. At the end of the option, you'll see the solution with explanation. When you're done with that, make sure you click exit activity to go back to your course page. The next component is the review cheat sheets. This one is particularly useful for your review before taking the problem drill or just to review the core concept before the test. It is nicely condensed into a single sheet of the glossary and core concept. Click exit. Let's go over the resource. There's two resources, the mp3 audio lecture and the printable. The mp3 audio lecture is the lecture that is available in mp3 format. You can either play on your computer or you can save it and then you can sync with your favorite mp3 like 
for example, your iPod or iPhone, and you can just sync it and you can listen while you're driving. It may take some time to download before you can play the MP3 audio lecture as the file is large for each lesson. Let's go to the printable. The printable component is a, is a print outline of the core tutorial in PDF format. This is particularly useful if you want to make note. You can just print this out and you can make note as you watch the core tutorial. Click on the upper right hand side to hide it to only view one at a time. So right now it's displaying the core tutorial one. So when I'm done, I can just stamp, jump start. Now I can click on the minus icon here to collapse so that it'll show only one tutorial at a time. When I'm ready to move on, I can click on the jump to and go on to the next lesson. If you need further instruction, you can jump to the Rapid Learn course feature and instruction. One thing we highly recommend is that when you first log on and you do your first problem drills or core tutorial, make sure you go click on grade to make sure that it's recorded. If it doesn't record it, make sure that you have your browser setting to allow cookies tracking. If you don't know how, please contact a customer service so that we can walk you through to do the correct setting. This concludes this tutorial on how to use certified course at Rapid University. Thank you everyone.